Hi everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I think I'll be able to see all the comments and everything tonight. That's going to be awesome. Just might make an adjustment here. There we go. Who we got on? Hello, Rachel. How are you? Hi, Devon. Okay, I tried on YouTube today to make this sign and everything was working against me. I mean, I made it, but what I had done was I reduced the letters, which made it really hard to do this. I'm doing good. Hi, Susan. Hi, Christy. So, what I did was I redid it. I expanded it so it was a little bit um, bigger and easy to work with. Then, okay, no problem. Uh, Yvonne, no problem. Okay, so I went ahead and I reduced, I expanded the design and redid it. Because what I was trying to do was show everyone this morning on my YouTube live how to transfer a design to make your sign. I was able to accomplish part of it, <laughs> but not all of it. Then I tried to go back and record what I was doing and that wasn't working. So there is a live on there showing you part of how I got the sign to work. Now I'm going to show you what I was trying to accomplish. This is the transfer paper that you use to transfer the design off the vinyl paper and onto this and then you rub away after you pick all the little middle, middle of the letters. And what I was trying to show you was you rock it back and forth, the paper. Because the rocking motion is going to peel it away from the letters. And see, this is what it was supposed to do. And this is what it didn't do. <laughs> I ended up putting it on the wrong side of the backing and yeah. So you know what I figured? I figured mornings are not the right time for me to do a live. YouTube or Facebook. It's not the time or place for me. All right. This says Cardinals appear when angels are near. Isn't that cute? Levine, will you go tell Carla I'm on a live? <laughs> She's messaging me. <laughs> oh. oh, that's awesome, Rebecca. I'm glad you're here. So what I was showing earlier was I, I allow the paper to hang over the sides. And usually I go ahead and I um, paint the back of it. But because this is going in a basket, you're not even going to see the back. But I could, if I wanted, um, take a magic marker and kind of color the sides. But this is how I trim it. I take my rotary cutter and I butt it up against the wood and I do that. Boom. It's a lot easier than trying to cut it. And I only make it just a hair bigger than the piece of wood itself because I don't want to waste a bunch of paper. But there we go. It's done. And it's trimmed up nice. Now what I did with the second one, I ran out of the brown um, vinyl, the good brown vinyl, 
So I thought, wouldn't this look awesome in this like evergreen? Thank you, Levon. <laughs> I will I will take care of her later. <laughs> so yeah. Now what you do after you're done, after all your letters are on here and your paper has dried, because you mod podge it to the board, then you put another clear coat of mod podge on top and let it dry. Now, I will go back and do that, but for now, I'm just going to get this ready to put it in the in what I'm doing. So, I have my little cable ties, and I'm going to hot glue those to the back. I can't believe I've got comments, and you've got sound, right? It's working! Again, awesome. Now... What I'm doing with this, I've had this tobacco basket for a long time, and I've had so many people requesting that I do something with cardinals. Well, when Dawn did that beautiful wreath the other night, it triggered everybody again to ask, when are you going to do the wreath with cardinal sign? <laughs> so, I'm doing the wreath with the cardinal sign. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I want to see where this is going to fit. This is going to go in the middle. Now, what this is, is this is actually um, a ring with cotton on it. It was all the way around. I cut in between out. And I'll explain why. Thank you, Luan. I appreciate it. Yvonne, Levon went and blessed my page. That always helps. So probably the best way to do it would be this. Because then I can see where I can put it. So I'm going to make a little X mark there. And an X mark here. That's what I love about these baskets. So now I'm going to hot glue it in place. And if I don't see your comments, I will go back at the end. And the way I'm putting this on here, I will be able to remove it and modge podge it afterwards. So I'm using just regular um, pipe cleaners for now. What I will probably do later is go back and use my tinsel ties because they hold better. I want this in the middle. I want it being held on both ends. awkward to work with. Come on. Well, we'll just do this.
too much on one side, not enough on the other side. This was a tobacco basket from Michael's, I think, last year. I've been holding on to it. You know how you have something that you just want to hold on to it till the right project comes along? Well, this was that item. Now, I'm going to redo this side. That's me, thinking out of the box. <sighs> okay. There we go. Now I take it down under this one. And then hold it securely this way. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Okay, so there's our sign in the middle of our basket. I'm trying to get it straight for you. There we go. This is an awesome sign. And I did put on the, um, the link in the YouTube um, live that I did this morning, I put the link to this design. It's one I purchased off of Etsy. And what's nice about that designer, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but she also allows you to use it for commercial use. All right. There's a big gap here, and this is probably where I'll put the bow, so I wanted that at the bottom. So I'm gonna secure this couple places. Now, again, this was a full, I'm good. Okay, secure it down here too. I cut a lot of cotton off of this because I didn't want it all cotton. I just wanted some cotton, but I wanted this form. I wanted to be able to work with it. there one there one here is good I'll be able to at the end go back and tuck these all under which will be nice you can keep them hidden I'll just tuck them now for now thank you Cindy <laughs> I've been nooming all weekend <laughs> Those little things are addicting. I made, what, 17 yesterday? And I already sold six of the 17. Um, I had another shipment of forms come in. So they came in today. So yeah. So what I wanna do, I originally had a wreath that was real skimpy. And what I was gonna, what I always do and have been, do, have been doing is I buy these long garlands with the different kinds of pine on it. Okay. And then what I do is I cut pieces of it off. So like, see, I'm going to tuck different pieces in and around this and then glue it. Let me start at the top. Actually, this one's from last year. I've been cutting off of this and cutting off of this. I cut like all the fancy stuff off it last year, but there's still a lot of good 
pine to be used. Because I just want to have this like in and out of the cotton. There's another one. take some of these long ones too because they're kind of different see and then I can tuck it in there so just want a little bit of it showing like I said it, the whole wreath was just too much. Did everybody have a good weekend? Stubborn. There we go. We did those gnomes, the little ones, on um, our design group, which is a private group that we have. And there's a link. Um, in fact, probably from now on, I'm going to be sharing most of my tutorials on there and not sharing them where just everybody can see them because some people just abuse other people's creativity. So, um, but yes, we, our button wasn't working. And now it is. So if any of you tried to join up, Cindy, I'm in Hughesville, Pennsylvania. It's near um, near Williamsport. Cindy is the one who walked away with half the prizes at the Reef Gala. <laughs> We're never going to let her live that down. <laughs> We're so happy for her. Her husband's, her Christmas list just got aborted. <laughs> right, Cindy? All right, I think I'm done with that one. So let me see. I need to just kind of bring it over here a little. Yeah, like I was saying, our um, the join button on our private group wasn't working. It's working now. We've got eight designers in the group. So if you were thinking about joining a group, I would seriously consider ours because there's so much talent in our group. It will blow you away. And then I have some of the berries here. I also have these berries. Maybe I'll put those in there. They have, these I got at Hobby Lobby when I was at the, Cindy, is that how far you are from me? The private group is 19, 1995 or is it 19? can't remember. These I got at Hobby Lobby 
when we were at Reef Gala and Willie and her husband took me to Hobby Lobby. I like these, but I just think they're too red. I even have, look, a little cardinal in a nest. Come visit me, Cindy. I think I can put like up there. And then I'll use these and kind of scatter them about. See how they have that like coating on them? Makes it look like they're wet. I don't know. I might. Nope. Oh, I know what I have. I also have some pine cones that I thought would be neat to kind of spread about too. Bring a little woodsy element into the see there's even some tinier ones that I thought might this be just a nice little there's a little one How's that looking so far? Can you guys see it okay? Hi, Suze. Susan and Levine are part of our new design group. Dawn and Tequila and Carla and Rita. We're all part of our design group. I shared the um, my gnome tutorial on there, how to make the gnomes that I've been sharing. Maybe I'll put these over here. I'll just do that there and then put three little bunches of pine cones. Carla did a beautiful um, Christmas tree, or um, no, a cross out of some pine the other night on her live on our design group. Sue, so what did you do in the design group? <laughs> we'll get to the ribbon, just a minute. <laughs> I got a couple picked out for you to choose from. And then see, I can stick a little bit of this in there. Give it a little pop, a color. Levine does painting, wreathing, crafting. Um, it's kind of what Susan does, wreathing, crafting. Um, Sandy in our group, she does chalk couture you got myself that does just about anything um that's what sue did a sugar skull centerpiece and it just sold too wasn't that the one that sold or was that the big one And then Dawn did a gnome, a gnome wreath. She actually had a sign that she wanted a gnome for. So I made a sign, or I made the gnome and I shipped it to her. And then I did the, uh, I, I showed on the live how to make them. Okay, what do you, well, those are gonna rock and roll probably. But what do you think so far? Hello. How's that looking? And then I thought the bow could go down here. All right, now let's get to Levon's favorite part. She loves to pick out the ribbon. All right, leaving this here. I had this ribbon 
with the cardinals on it. I have this, which I thought is, it complements the sign and it complements the greenery. I kind of wanted to make it look a little rustic, so I thought this would be a nice one to add. Thank you, Susan. I also have this that kind of plays off the pine cones and the pine. Hi, Debbie. So, I'm trying to think, this is thin, this is wide, wide, wide. We need like another, I don't know, do we need another? Or do we want to just go with those four? What's your plan, LaVon? got lots of reds. I even thought, remember when I came back from conf from the gala and I, I thought that would even look, wouldn't it? That would even look pretty on it. But that sticks up a little high. But I have this one. Where is it? That has the red and the green in it. But I don't know that it looks good with a... Uh... Hi, Diana. I don't know if it looks... What do you think? Too busy with that? You love what I have on the table. All right. Then that's what we'll go with, what I got on the table. Just not sure I want to go big with the bow. I think I want to kind of do like um, farmhouse with the bow. Maybe we'll just scoot that up there like that. You know what inspired me to do this? This design with the cotton. I actually saw a flag with a cardinal in the middle with a ring of cotton around it. That was my inspiration for this. So see, you can get inspiration anywhere. All right, we're just gonna stick with these and I think we're gonna do kind of like farmhouse. Just real kind of simple. And then I'll go back in and I'll glue everything where I want it. If anybody's interested in the sign and they don't have a vinyl cutter, I can make the sign for you. Or if you just want the vinyl, I can do the vinyl. Thought I had another pipe cleaner here. Cindy, when are you coming to see me? get another pipe cleaner. Oh, and I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, if any of you watch Tickle Me So, Catherine, she's actually the sister of Amy from the Bam Reese. She will come to Pennsylvania if I can get like 20 to 30 people. She will fly up here and do a class with us. So if anybody's interested in that, you can private message me. And, uh, we can get her up here. The class would be $50. That sounds good to me. I would love to have her come out here. She does amazing stuff. She jacks it up, LaVon. 
<laughs> she changes things up. She'll buy something and then turn it into something entirely different. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Because I need to have about 20 to 30 people. And she'll fly from Texas to spend time with us. have my little thing here and I don't. <laughs> Haven't you ever watched that show where they the brides come in and they try all the dresses on? That's where I got that term from, because if they're undecided about the dress, he'll say, let's jack her up. And being a seamstress, I used to do alterations, and I used to watch that show. And that's where I got the term, jack her up. came out of a bridal salon. See? Okay. Because we've jacked up some trucks here. <laughs> we've jacked up some wreaths here. Now for any of my students that are watching that come to my wreath classes, this is something we can do in the wreath class, because I do have extras. Yes to the dress. See that? And you probably didn't even know that was where I got it. Now, because I'm a fanatic about the ribbon being in the right direction, I'm going to put one tail here and the other tail over here. Because I want the tail to hang down and be going in the right direction. See that? Problem solved. Trim this a little more. And then I will, I don't know if I want to add this or not. We'll see. Do two. Two loops of the cardinal. So we've got two, four, and two. And then let's just put a piece of this on top. I know, right? That was the Sam's Club ribbon. And I still cannot find my Christmas ribbon from Sam's Club from last year. It's in this house somewhere. Oh yeah, boy. This is going to jack it up, Levon. I think we will do four on this. Maybe we'll just do three. 
Oh, wow. Now, do I want it to hang down that way? I do. Sorry. Just my preference. I think I got this from that American Ribbon Company in um, Strasburg. I've yet to go there. I ordered some ribbons. Some of it I'm, I really like, and then some of it I really hate. So don't know that I'll take the drive over. Now I think we'll just do like a three looper for this. Hi Dawn, you're not late. Just getting to the bow here. See if we can get this to work. Here's what we got so far, hon. We took a cotton ring of cotton, cut some of it out, added some greenery, some pine cones. Now we're working on the bow. And actually, I think I'm going to use a zip tie for this. know if I want to put any of this in there. I don't know. Nope, that doesn't look right. Okay, Cindy, thanks. Thanks for stopping. We'll talk later, okay? Bye, hon. trim off some of this excess that we use to hide the, the tail going in the direction that we wanted it.
helps like my one side is a little bit longer than the other side which we can fix that There we go. Hi, Belinda. How are you? We're almost finished. We took a tobacco basket. We made a sign. Put that in the basket with some greens and with some cotton and some pine cones and a cardinal. We have to go back and treat the sign later. Just wanted a simple bow that looked kind of rustic. No, I didn't. I think with this, I'm going to attach it to the, the frame or the ring from the cotton just so it hangs over. Or I may have to attach it just to the edge of the side. Yeah, I think on the side is better because that way it doesn't obstruct the view of the sign. Just kind of hangs over the side. For those of you just joining, our, our private group, the button to join is now working. So if you'd like to join us in our private group for more tutorials, we've got eight designers ready to rock and roll and jack things up. All right, I still have to go back and glue stuff, but there we go. What do you think? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Is that good or bad? What do you think? 
Maybe I should have put some of this in the back of the bow, too. I don't know. Aw, thanks, Sue. Just something simple and rustic. With the sign we made today on our live on YouTube that didn't turn out the way I wanted it. And then I went back and tried to film it again and again and again. So I ended up expanding the size of the, the sign because what it did was the little letter the little words appears appear when were just too tiny to uh, accept being reduced. So it fought me all the way. But there we go. Simple and purdy. Oh, oops. There went my bead, beaded. So I'll glue it all together and finish it up. Okay. What I have, I have this wood that my husband gets in huge sheets. It's kind of like an underlayment, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure the exact term of the wood. But then I took scrapbook paper, modge podged it to the front. I let it hang over a little. And then what I do when it dries, I use my rotary cutter and I just roll along the side to trim it. Okay. Yes. So then you take your design. I even showed um, on my live the um, my brother cut and scan running so everybody could see how quiet it is. I don't know if the crickets are loud, but my, uh, my scan and cut is very, very quiet. And uh, use the transfer paper to transfer the design to the transfer paper and then that to, to the sign. And at the beginning, you can watch the replay. I had it on the transfer paper and then I just used this tool to um, Scrape it down and then peel the transfer paper back. I think this needs like another piece of it back here, which I can do. Yeah, I, I've had a lot of people inquiring about how I make my signs. So I figured there, that's what it needed. So I figured I would show them how to do it. Actually, I'm gonna take this off and grab that. You can get the crickets fairly reasonable online. Mine is a brother scanning cut because I have a 10 needle embroidery machine so what I wanted was I wanted the embroidery machine to interact with it. So that's why I bought the one I did. Because supposedly you can scan things in there, turn them into designs, and then download it to my, um, my embroidery machine. So I figured why not go the extra mile get what's compatible with your machine and then you know then I got it covered there I like that better well maybe you'll win the contest next month with Lori's group and when you get you already have your thermal printer so then you can just take the money and use it towards a vinyl cutter. I would look on Marketplace too because there's a lot of people 
they buy them and they're intimidated by them and they don't use them and they sit in the box and then they just sell them. So why don't you look for a used one? The one I bought, I bought from a distributor in Texas because with Brother, the closest one to me was over 99 miles. So um, because of that reason, he could ship me one and I didn't have to pay sales tax. Okay, all I have left to do is glue everything in place. Yeah, because, you know, this, this, and I put the link in there to the, um, in the YouTube video of where I got this SVG file from a place on Etsy. And um, it came with the commercial license. So you can make these and sell these because you already have the commercial license. And that was another plus. Because I do the classes, I've got three people that want to make a cardinal wreath. I really thought this sign was pretty because the people that want to do the wreaths, um, they've had an had a extreme loss in their family, and these cardinals are supposed to appear when their loved ones are near. So that's what drew me to this sign. I saw a lot of beautiful signs on Etsy, but this was the saying. I actually got this, I think, back in August. So, well, Sue, I got to put my glasses on. Yeah. Well, we all do, you know. But like I said, I've been sitting on it for a while because I knew come Christmas they wanted to do the sign. So I thought, well, I had the chance. I bought it. In fact, I had to go back and download it in my Etsy store again because I couldn't find where I saved it. <laughs> so, which I do that a lot. All right, I think we're good. I've got to go get ready because Monday nights on in our group, we have a question and answer session. And then once a week in our group, we go live. And that's usually on Friday nights. So, I've got to get ready for that. And I think we're good. I think it turned out way better than I expected. So I'm, I'm really satisfied with it. Does anybody have any questions? We good? All right, guys, look for me on Wednesday. Um, and my design pals, and we'll see you shortly. All right, guys, have a great evening, and thanks for sharing this time with me. I really appreciate it. I appreciated you uh, sharing, too. Okay? All right, have a great night. Thank you.